Hello, I'm Adrian Pishka and this is my wife. Helen, Helen Pishka. I'm 52 years old and I came to Swiss Medica after a long, long thought about it as my situation wasn't getting any um, better with the doctors in the UK. So we chose to come to um, Swiss Medica in Moscow. There's a lot more detail behind that. Um, just to sneak in there that I'm uh, an aged 66 year old. Uh, the background to this is that Helen uh, became ill uh, in 2013 with a mystery complaint that the National Health Service uh, struggled to uh, resolve. It took some months before it was identified probably as a neurological disorder called cerebral vasculitis. The treatment was merely to contain the situation as it was, which left Helen with a very uh, difficult disability with uh, asymmetric um, paralysis of her left side. Out of that came a difficult struggle for Helen in terms of uh, domestic life, mobility, and all sorts of leisure activities. We've pursued with the uh, health authorities in the UK uh, resolutions and opportunities for uh, cures and we are way down the list of priorities within the UK. It's as simple as that. As a consequence of that, Helen decided that she was not going to wait until she was 70 years old before the health authorities had done all of the relevant trials on stem cell treatment, she decided she would investigate it herself and go to where the best opportunities were present within our reach. We looked at various places um, in America, um, but came back to Swiss Medica after, after um, contacted them once before, we thought maybe no, this is a, a scam and um, we let it rest for a while, but um, we, we went back to the, for the second time and um, we were more um, agreeable. agreeable that this, this is, wasn't a scam, this was actually a true place of um, forward thinking medicine. Okay, now Helen hasn't told you everything there. She has done an enormous amount of research online and through documentation to understand the principles and practices relating to stem cell, stem cell treatments and therapies. My computer is full of all the papers that she's gleaned from Japan, from China, from America, from Russia, uh, from, the, from Europe and from the UK. I have been uh, invited to, to distill some of that in my quest to determine truth from fiction and also then to decide with Helen where best to go. We looked at Swiss Medica quite early in the cycle and I was dubious regarding their credentials. The marketing they presented at the time was predominantly American-based, and I was uncomfortable with that. Also, uh, the uh, telephone arrangements Swiss Medica had put in place gave a slight uh, deception to the reality, inasmuch that calls made from the UK are invited to go to Switzerland, but actually end up being answered in Moscow. So that led me to think, is this real or is it a scam? Being the kind of person I am, I drilled into the entire structure and background of Swiss Medica 21st century and established its pedigree from America, the fact that an American marketing company had been invited to help them, the fact that they had 
an administrative, administrative office on the Swiss-Italian borders and that they had a, a headquarters in uh, Switzerland to the southeast of Zurich. I also went online uh, into the Swiss um, online system to identify the directors of Swiss Medica, which wasn't as uh, difficult as one might think. And uh, I was also minded to note that being a Swiss company, they had to have a Swiss national on the board. So from a financial perspective, I was beginning to come a little more comfortable with Swiss Medica's uh, pedigree in business terms. We became, uh, we started off uh, to have treatment in their Swiss branch, but for reasons that we're not too clear about, that treatment was cancelled. We then engaged again with Swiss Medica, having asked for a refund of the, the uh, down payment. They said, well, come to Moscow. And through the wisdom and guidance of the staff, we became far more confident that these people were not a scam, but they were, in fact, genuine medical people with uh, significant uh, capabilities. Helen's already mentioned that we looked at America, and so we were now comparing and contrasting between continents and between languages, and for us, it was uh, Swiss Medica because they're closer to the UK, which meant less difficulty for Helen in flying, but also because the American uh, market was pushing us towards a very quick, sharp solution based on people who knew only about stem cell therapies. They knew very little about the broader medical implications and constructs that are associated with these issues. With all that in mind, we uh, agreed a contract with Swiss Medica, but I made it quite clear that I was not going to pay any money over the counter until I arrived on site. And they agreed, which is another point in Swiss Medica's uh, favour. They are not pushy, they are agreeable to flexible arrangements. Uh, we arrived in Moscow as per our plan, and we've actually, uh, well, Helen has actually undergone treatment, and it has demonstrated success even in the very first few days. We're now hoping for even greater improvement in Helen's condition in the weeks and months going forward. Over to you. I must say, though, that the, the treatment was absolutely um, a bit. Um, the treatment was actually very good in that I am the most squeamish person there is and the the, um, the bone marrow um, reaching out for the bone marrow wasn't a problem the um, sucking of the cells from the stomach wasn't a problem and um, the uh, the doctor who carried the this procedure out was just brilliant so, um, if anybody is frightened of um, going ahead with it on that basis, don't be, just don't be afraid. Okay. Does that help? Okay, great. And can you tell about some results? Uh, what, what, what was before and now? Uh, about your, for example, your head, a hand, about your power and your muscle. Uh, you told that you can get up. Lift your hand, Easy. changes that you uh, really felt uh, at the beginning when you comment now. What happened with you yes, for this uh, short period of time? Important. Yes, I notice now that I can stand up um, relatively easier than um, before. When before it was a, a struggle to stand up and, um, and get strut upright, and now it's a lot, lot easier to, to manage that. And I can wave my hand a little bit, and um, yes, things are looking looking good. I'm going to add a bit there. Um, Helen uh, has played the piano until four years ago, and this week she was able, after three days, four days, to raise her 
left arm upwards and wiggle all the fingers and play a tune on the piano for the staff at Swiss Medica. a person in for example a patient yeah. yes in a position condition very close to Helen's yes. yeah uh, can you just uh, uh, give some advice for this uh, patient can you recommend Swiss medical yes in 21st century for coming here and have treatment here what can you say for this uh, person who is hesitating at the moment? I, have, I am the most cynical, untrusting person in the world when it comes to doing business with anybody that I can't see and where I can't touch their physical infrastructure. Uh, I have overcome that on behalf of hopefully a lot of people by being here. Uh, I'm uh, open to inquiries, maybe, depending how intense they are, uh, because uh, it, it is unnerving especially when you're dealing with sizable sums of money with people you don't know who are from another country and who uh, quite often speak another language. And in that context, most of the doctors and the nurses in Swiss Medica speak fluent English and if not, they are helped by another number of agents who can uh, support them. So don't be afraid of coming. The complications in getting here are not that difficult uh, to come to Moscow and Swiss Medica in my book is a trusted organization. I'm from Australia. Four years ago I suffered a stroke in the medulla. It left me with a weakened left hand side body and I was told that I would never walk again. After research, after research, after research, I was lucky enough to stumble upon the Swiss, Swiss Medica clinic. Stem cell research fascinated me and the involvement in using stem cells to repair damage to the brain after a stroke was something that I was very interested in. Mm -hmm.